All right, what I'd like to do today is show you how you can add a voiceover to whatever project you're working on. So what you see here is we've got the book Red Rubber Boot Day. And my goal is so that as the Prezi is being shown, we have background music playing and then the background music will fade out whenever we are adding a, um, a voiceover to something. So of course, because Red Rubber Boot Day is the title, I want to start by recording that. Now what I've already done to prepare for this is I've added on the uh, voice recorder feature and it's right here. And this is just Microsoft's own voiceover or voice recorder that comes with the, um, it basically will come with your computer. So you can use this one or you can download a different voice recorder. Um, some of you personally may have some microphone attachments that you can add to your computer systems at home that would work great. Uh, I also find that using the Apple headphones that have the microphone built into the cord, those work really well too. All right, so for this one, um, all we have to do is come down here and we just press record like this. Red Rubber Boot Day by Mary Lynn Ray. And then we turn it off and you'll see I made, I've made uh, three other recordings so far for this story and this is my fourth one. So once I have that, I'm just gonna minimize here and then I have to go to which path I want it to go on. So by clicking here, this is going to already be at path one because that's where it is. And I'm gonna go right here to add voiceover to path step one. Now, if you get to this point and it is gray, not uh, a darker black, that means that you haven't clicked where you want it to go. You always have to tell the computer what you want it to do, right? So that's important. So right here, we're gonna click and then we'll get our pop-up box here that says, okay, uh, where is your sound bite? Where do you wanna go? So I'm gonna go into where I've got them saved, which is in my sound recordings file here. I'm gonna go to recording number four, open that up, and then it's going to start the download right here, or upload, I should say. So it's uploading and you can see right where the pathway is. And it just takes a moment and then it's done. And by clicking right here, I can play to make sure that's what I want it to sound like. And if I don't, then I can just hit trash and I can try it again. So let's hit play and see what happens. Red Rubber Boot Day by Mary Lynn Ray. Okay, cool. So it worked well. Um, you'll also see that I've included up here uh, the background music that I want to play for the whole time. Once again, all you have to do is go to insert and then down here, uh, background music. In this case, if I were to replace the background music, you know, that's why it says replace because I've already added that. But otherwise, you can add background music. And to do that, what you want to do is first you have to download whatever you want. So what I did was I just did a quick search. I knew kind of what I wanted as my sound. I knew it should be kind of a bright, happy sound. So I literally typed in happy music space and then MP3 because MP3 is one of the formats that you can use for this. And when I did, I got um, Ben Sound royalty free music and I've used this um, website before and it works really, really well. So I highly recommend using Ben Sound. You can see that you've got all of these different genres for music and it will um, allow you to use their stuff basically for without having to um, buy into any kind of uh, licensing for it, as long as we're just using it for educational purposes, which we are, uh, then everything is cool. So what I did on this site, I looked at a few and then I'm like, oh, Acoustic Breeze, that sounds nice. I listened to it just like this. I'll hit play. Yay, it sounds beautiful. So pause on that one. Then I click download and it downloaded for me into um, my, not my sound recording file. Actually for me, I just went into my uh, downloads since I downloaded it and I was able to get it from 
there when I tried before. So anyway, all you do is find what you want and then I'm going back into Prezi. I go insert, uh, replace background music, which I don't need to, but that's where I would find my recording. I just click it and it drops it right in. So now what you'll see for this presentation should look like this. I start off with pressing present. You can see I've got a little image here. Oh, and by the way, I took pictures for my book by literally holding up the pages of the story to my computer's camera. So while it's not the greatest picture quality, it works for what I'm trying to do. Okay, so you can hear the background Red music. Rubber Boot Day by Mary Lynn Ray. And then, of course, I click the next arrow. I press my nose against the screen and smell the smell of screen and rain. I press the next arrow. I listen. I watch. If you notice that it's two different sound qualities, I recorded this first one in a very closed room, so it has kind of an echoey sound to it. And then this next one I recorded in an empty classroom, a larger space. And the same with this one. I may decide to get my crayons and draw the things I like to draw. So consider when you're making your recordings that you go to a quiet area because otherwise the microphone's going to pick up um, what you maybe don't want to have on your presentation. And you can hear that the music got louder because I have not put a voiceover in this one yet. So that's the reason why the music got a little bit louder on us. Okay, and that's it for now.